In this video, I'm going to show you how you can customize the positioning and the appearance of the error messages omitted by jQuery validation. Since the last video, what I've done is, is I've added a reference to bootstrap and then I've essentially bootstrapified the form by adding various containers and classes all over the place. I've added a few additional inputs as well as validation rules for each of them in the validation script. So now if I return to the browser, you can see that the form does look quite different. It looks better, but one thing that I still dislike is that when you do invoke some errors, they're quite insipid. It might not even be obvious to the user, or at least not some users, that something's wrong at all. What we really want to do in the case of Bootstrap is we want to use these so-called validation states so that when a user has entered an erroneous input, the input looks like this or like this checkbox down here. Bear in mind that although I am using Bootstrap, what I'm about to teach you will be applicable if you're using your own CSS as well. You'll just need to use your own smarts and figure it out as I can't possibly um, cover everybody's custom styles. It's impossible. So the first step is to go to the script and we're going to call this static function on the validator object called set defaults. And we're gonna pass to this some options. We're going to say, when you want to highlight an input as being invalid, please use this function. Pass, and it's gonna pass an element. What we do is we use a jQuery selector on this element and we say, find the closest, um, find the closest form group and add the class has error. Let me take a step back here. I think I got ahead of myself. If I go to the developer console and inspect this element, notice how this input highlighted in green, mostly right now, is contained within this form group. What we want to do is, is we want to take the input element, which is what is provided to us via this argument, and we want to find the closest element with the class form group which in this case is going to be its parent. Then to that same container, we're going to add a class has error. And as you can see, this makes the input have a red border, which is exactly what we want. When the user finally enters a valid value, we're gonna do something extremely similar. So similar, we're going to copy and paste this for the most part. We're simply going to remove the class from the parent. So now if I go to the browser and I enter an erroneous email, notice how we get that red border. And that's pretty nice. It's very obvious that something's going wrong. However, um, the display, the message is still uh, black when we want it to be red. So if we take a closer look at this, we'll see that the, when, let's have another look. When we enter something invalid and we click away from the form, pay close attention to this. Notice those highlights, it adds a label with the error message and it gives it the class error. What we want to do is we want to replace that class error with a class that Bootstrap recognizes called help block. And that's super easy. We'll go to the same uh, properties and we'll say error class is equal to help block. And now watch this, as I enter an invalid value, and click away if I can close this. Seriously? The error message is in red as well. Perfect. That pretty much solves my problems in terms of appearance, but we still have one formatting issue that's actually quite bad. I have a checkbox down here, and watch this. If I submit the form, yes, it's red and it's a little bit more prevalent now, but we have this error message, this field is required, and it's in the totally wrong place. What happens, as you saw just a second ago, is that when jQuery validation decides to show an error, it's a, it shows it immediately after the input. That works great for typical inputs with the type text or email um, or password. But when you're dealing with a checkbox, typically you place them inside labels and it's exhibiting the same behavior by adding the error beneath the input. It's adding it beneath the input, but it's actually adding it before the text, which is not what we want. So we're gonna do something extremely custom in this case. We're going to override another function called error placement. And again, we get past an error and we get past an element. And I'm going to copy and paste this code because it's a little bit longer and I wanna save some time. We'll say if the element property called type is equal to checkbox, so if the type is equal to checkbox, which it is, then 
insert the error after the element's parent, which is going to be the label. Here's our element, its parent is the label. If it is a checkbox, add it after the label. So rather than showing the error message here, it's going to put it after its parent, which is down here. Otherwise, just do what you've been doing all the all, all the long and insert it directly after the element. Refresh the page and I'll invoke the errors again. And as you can see, this field is required is in a much more sensible position. I think that's looking pretty good in my view. Okay, I think that's all I have to say about customizing error messages. Like I say, I'm using Bootstrap specifically, but I'm sure you can see how you can leverage uh, these existing properties to do this with your own styles.